The demand curve shows how the quantity demanded changes if the price changes. If the price drops from 5 Rand to 3 Rand, quantity demanded jumps from 2,400 to 3,600. Our supply curve, also based on the information in the table, shows how the quantity supply changes if the price changes. This price drop from 5 to 3 Rand causes the quantity supplied to fall from 3,600 to 2,400. Putting the two curves together, we get a picture of the state of the market. The demand curve reflects the behaviour of consumers and the supply curve the behaviour of suppliers. We can see that market equilibrium takes place at the point where the two curves intersect at the price of 4 Rand where the quantity demanded matches the quantity supplied, 3,000 pieces of fried chicken. At this point, the plans of consumers exactly match the plans of suppliers. Note that in this market, there is only one possible equilibrium position, also known as the market clearing position, where everything that's produced is consumed, and both buyers and sellers are satisfied. At a price of 6 Rand, an excess supply exists. And this excess supply causes downward pressure on the price. And as the price declines, the quantity demanded increases and the quantity supplied decreases. This process continues until equilibrium is reached. At a price of 2 Rand, an excess demand exists. Now this excess demand causes upward pressure on the price. And as the price increases, the quantity demanded decreases and the quantity supplied increases. This process continues until equilibrium is reached. To summarise then, an excess supply forces sellers to compete more aggressively, putting downward pressure on prices, which declines until market equilibrium is reached. An excess demand in the market means buyers will compete with one another to get hold of the product and this forces prices to rise until market equilibrium is reached again. So that's the market model. We're slowly getting better equipped to understand the inner workings of the markets and our economy. In the next episode, we're going to use these tools again. We'll try to find out what lies behind the often erratic and turbulent changes in demand and supply. <laughs>